For your pinpoint weather and traffic together, it's about to get really cold, but we're hearing some reports of scattered flurries in our area, Pete. Yeah, that's right, Julianne. Basically, we've been tracking this line of snow, and some of these darker areas of blue are actually what are called snow squalls. It's basically an intense but brief round of snow. It often lasts around five or ten minutes, and I did hear from the control room that one of our cameras in situate, I believe along uh, Route 6 area, is uh, seeing some snow right now. So that's likely from this line as it continues to move to the east and it appears we might be able to pop this camera on. So let's put it up there. Yeah, you can see some of those flakes going right now across the camera. From this perspective, this visibility uh, actually looks okay. So if we end up with this, then we'd be doing okay. But there could be periods where the visibility actually drops below what you were just seeing that. It really depends on how well this holds together where you see the darker blues. That's where the uh, snow is coming down a bit more. You could see this is Route 44. There's Gloucester Situate and uh, Route 6 here. So you could see that around the Gloucester area, you're likely going to get into at least some of the light snow, perhaps some of these heavier bursts of snow. But again, it doesn't last very long. If you happen to be driving this, though, it can be hazardous, especially if that visibility drops quickly on you. But you can also see how it becomes a little bit lighter up to the north. So as this passes through, if it stays kind of broken, then some areas get those snow squalls, others do not. And then we bring in the sunshine or at least the partly cloudy skies by late morning into the afternoon. So no matter what happens, it won't last very long. Then we focus our attention on to the wind chill advisory. That's for northern Rhode Island, northern Bristol County, Massachusetts, where wind chill is likely around negative 15. And even an area is not covered by that advisory, likely well below zero with those wind chills by tonight into tomorrow morning. In addition to that, in case that's not enough, we have a high wind warning in effect that starts at 5 p.m. and goes until 4 tomorrow morning. Gusts 40 to 60 potentially. So even without the cold being a factor, there could be some uh, power outages, isolated pockets of wind damage as those uh, winds really start to pick up. And, you know, when we have these high wind mornings, we especially want to pay attention because we get wind advisories all the time here in southern New England. But those uh, high wind warnings are not as common. So that just uh, gives us the heads up that some pretty strong winds could potentially be there. Right now, it's breezy, not necessarily that windy in terms of things being dangerous, but when we have the gusts of around 25 miles an hour, you definitely notice it. And it has dropped our wind chills already into the mid-teens, so already getting cold out there. That trend continues throughout the rest of the day. There is that line with the snow squalls right here. So thin, so hard to see when we're at a wide perspective like this, but we can see for sure that Arctic front to our north. Very cold air moves in behind it, so that will be the big story with that next front. And then our best chance of accumulating snow moves in on Saturday morning, which I'll get to in just a second. First, looking at our weather planner, you know, temperatures don't move very much. Wind chills going from the teens right now to the single digits by late this afternoon through this evening. And on our future cast, you can see the uh, situation for late tomorrow night. I'm thinking the snow does not arrive until after midnight or so. So you can see 2, 3 o'clock Saturday morning. The snow starts to fill in. And I think everybody will start as snow from Smithfield all the way down to Newport and Jamestown. Then we change over to rain throughout the morning. That's why accumulations are not expected to be all that big. In fact, we're expecting about 1 to 3 inches of snow overall before that changeover occurs to rain. How about a low of 7 degrees tomorrow morning with wind chills below zero? You can always get an updated Futurecast over on our website and take the forecast with you on your mobile device. Just search Pinpoint Weather on the App Store. Now let's get you.